Our body is controlled by the brain, and the brain's functions primarily determine the proper functioning of the body and our health in general. The main causes of dysfunctions of the brain are weak blood supply and oxidative stress. Problems with the blood supply have many reasons, such as stress, nutrition, a sedentary lifestyle, problems with the spine and many other issues. This video will not show you how to remove those causes but will show you how to help your brain to improve the blood supply. Oxidative stress also has various causes leading to large amounts of free radicals that disrupt the cells. In this video, we'll show you how you can significantly reduce the number of free radicals in the brain. It is well known that a poor blood supply and oxidative stress cause diseases such as strokes, tumors, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, a poor memory and, of course, diseases in the internal organs. As 2-5% of our inhaled oxygen is converted to free radicals, which destroy the cells, the ability of hydrogen unlike any other antioxidants to penetrate the blood-brain barrier is especially important in order to normalize the central nervous system. The overall beneficial hydrogen therapy, inhaling hydrogen gas and drinking hydrogen-rich water, offers an invaluable aid in ways other therapies are unable to provide. The blood-brain barrier hinders most substances, especially antioxidants, to reach the brain cells, thus making the removal of free radicals very difficult, which, over time, will destroy the brain more and more. Thanks to the small size of the hydrogen molecule, hydrogen is the only substance which is able to penetrate the brain and remove free radicals. By easily penetrating the brain, Hydrogen also prevents blood clots and regenerates the small blood vessels called the capillaries. Numerous studies have proven these unique properties of hydrogen. Now, you will learn about some interesting studies on hydrogen. There are many animal studies that prove the protective effects of hydrogen on brain cells in cases of injuries, strokes, and toxic poisonings. For example, a study on how hydrogen-rich water protects against ischemic brain injury in rats by regulating calcium buffering proteins. Rats consuming hydrogen water for 14 days had a reduced risk of ischemic brain damage compared to rats who consumed regular water. There are also studies on the protective properties of hydrogen on human brain cells. A study on hydrogen inhalation treatment for acute brain infarct, a randomized controlled clinical study on safety and neuron protection. In addition to the preventive effect, the study found a therapeutic effect, which was confirmed by a large number of tests and the overall clinical state. In this graph, we can see the brain studies by magnetic resonance imaging. The foci of cerebral hemorrhage are significantly smaller in the group that took hydrogen compared to the control group. Also, the study found a better oxygen uptake in the group taking hydrogen. After this study, massive research began on the protective properties of hydrogen for the brain. And a scientific review was published in 2019 in the Journal of Neurological Sciences. Hydrogen as a complementary therapy against ischemic stroke. A review of the evidence. The findings of this review offer broad prospects for the use of hydrogen in medicine. Conclusion number one. Important characteristics of hydrogen, antioxidation, anti-inflammation and anti-apoptosis. Conclusion number two. Hydrogen therapy is an ideal complementary treatment for ischemic stroke. Conclusion number three. Molecular hydrogen has been proven to be a beneficial treatment for various medical conditions and has proven to be an effective anti-aging supplement. A large-scale study was conducted in Japan. Patients in 14 hospitals with Parkinson's disease consumed hydrogen water for 72 weeks. A randomized double-blind, placebo-controlled multicenter trial of molecular hydrogen water for Parkinson's disease. 
This study confirmed the safety and tolerability of hydrogen water, and that hydrogen water can reduce the symptoms of the disease on the medical Parkinson's disease rating scale. We also want to tell you about a sensational case in medical practice described in a scientific paper. Hydrogen inhalation promotes recovery of a patient in persistent vegetative state from intracerebral hemorrhage, a case report and literature review. A young man of 11 years was put into a coma or persistent vegetative condition after a cerebral hemorrhage. For two months, the patient underwent neuroprotective treatment and rehabilitation, which were of no avail. Thereafter, the patient's parents agreed to a hydrogen inhalation treatment, which was given two to three hours twice per day. To the doctor's astonishment and the parents' joy, the patient's condition began to improve from the very first month of hydrogen therapy, as we can see in this chart. The patient's orientation ability, consciousness, ability to speak, Facial expressions and motor functions were significantly restored after the hydrogen gas inhalation treatment. Numerous studies have shown hydrogen's unique ability to penetrate the brain and protect the neurons from many forms of damages and its ability to also restore brain cells after damage. These therapeutic qualities are due to hydrogen's ability to penetrate the brain barrier and reach the brain cells and protect them from the free radicals and to improve the cell's blood supply.